of the colors in this uh, calf uh, green. I don't know, it's green, like a Tiffany blue. It looks like, well, mint green. And then um, half is gonna be the other colors, like a blue. But then this time I'm showing you another technique. It's really easy to choose. I'm gonna do a one thin coat of the solid light color first, and I'm gonna keep it for 60 seconds. And then after that, we're gonna go in using both of them at the same time. Next, we're gonna use this. I'm excited because I got to try it with you. And next, I wanna do after that, we're gonna use the Chanfu Foy gels. And today we're gonna do the designs. Each design we are going to do uh, different shapes. So there are four different shapes. The number one that I have it right here is a teardrop. I'm gonna walk every every single um, shape uh, shapes, and then we are going to do with one metal beads, which is we can either do gold beads, silver beads, or um, obsidian so it's good combinations that way you get an idea of you know if you want to combine this drop this shape with what you know beads we're gonna do okay so we are going to using board of this and have a piece of papers so in that way you can always wipe it off on the side and now with this second layer you're going to apply half of the nails just make sure you get it even and then using the other colors on the other side Wipe it off. Wipe all the excess gel polish off to the point you don't have much anything left on the brush. Oh, it's running on the cuticle. But it's okay, I'm gonna clean it up. So you're gonna using it, the brush, give it one stroke from the top, cuticle all the way down, wipe this off. Give another um, swipe from the top to the, all the way to the free edges. Always clean your brush because you don't want the brush to be uh, contaminating with the other colors. You start seeing the look of it already. So now I am gonna pick up some more gel polish. And on the side, wipe it off. And you can repeat it until you're happy with the look. And I think it looks good now and Oh, my tinted brush in the back there. Sorry. And then if you're happy with this, I'm gonna clean up around this nails and then I will key it for 60 seconds. If you're happy with this, like ombre like that, you can't, um, you don't have to blend it anymore. Look at that and how I wipe it up here. Can I get this one right here? Open this, thank you. Uh, no. Maybe the other one. Okay, give for 60 seconds.
Hey Emling, how are you? I'm gonna clean my brush. So wipe it off using a uh, no wipe top coat and swore it and then clean that up. Uh, no, I guess I don't even want this. You get a picture on it. Okay, so that you can do with any colors. Okay, if you're using that technique, use with any colors you prefer. It's gonna give you a really, really easy, a similar look. You can do this two together. Any colors you can do it together. Like you can do nude and blue, yellows and purple, however you prefer. I just wanna share with you a tip and trick for that. Look great. So I'm gonna using this one on. Let's see how it's gonna turn out. Let's try to find the what way is that the one. Okay. So let's move on to apply that gel, uh, the chanfer foil. I am going to apply the Premium's Iho chanfer foils. A lot of questions before um, is why do I using this? Because it's gonna give me a click here in 30 seconds. I am going to apply this here 30 seconds. Hi, money bag. How do I have that happen? Sorry. Because I was doing it upside down, whatever it is. Did you money back? Did you try to do a, a ombre like I was sharing earlier? Okay. Great. Give me that one. How's that open? I think it's maybe in this one. Let me see. The hands up. Hands up. Okay. I think it's that. right on the center right there let me lay it wish me luck everyone just kidding this lay oh this is looks so stunning it like a foil no um it's like a chrome holographic i'm not worried about because this is nails had a lot of my c curve so it looks like a crease there I'm not worried about it because it's a clear look. It should give you good pressures. And then release it. Really nice. Yeah, looks good. Look at that. Can you see how cool it chamfer completely? I know how you can see it. Maybe in the back of my hand, it's too shiny. Looks good. I'm really in love with this. Great, can you have to say hi to everyone right here? So I'm going to using condensed little gels. Thank you so much, Chris. How are you, sweetie? All right. Hey, Brooke, how are you? Hey, just let you know, Brooke, I'm watching a little bit of Ty um, Tiger King. Still watching on it, a documentary at like four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but I'm excited. I want to watch any suggestion for Netflix. I would take it. So I am going to using a teardrop and I am going to apply all of 
um, condensed glue gel. If you're first time using our condensed glue gel, it's normal to feel really thick density and do not hesitate to blend it out because you don't need to get it too thick, but then also you don't wanna be too thin, too thick, it's gonna overflow it's like a flooding your crystal, but too thin is not gonna keep the crystal last uh, as long as you expecting. So close the uh, condensed glue gel and then I'm gonna using a no wipe top coat on the top. This techniques will help um, to condense glue gel and the top coat will help to actually engage and grab the base of the crystal and it'll keep it stay in a nice place. Try that if you have a little bit trouble shootings and if you have always like wonder how you can able to get this. Um, I probably need the different bottle though. No. So no white top coat. I'm out of it. I'm gonna using my new bottles. And this technique just floating on the top of the crystal uh, of the condensed glue gels. Just don't drag them down. Just really using a floating technique, like a lightly. I really like effects of that chamfer foil though. Uh, close that one, please, and open this. Whole train wig. Tada King. Okay. What's a game changer? Game changer? Okay. Is that the movie or is it a documentary? Tiger King is a documentary. Tiger King is a documentary, and I saw that. Okay, so. Let's move on to this one, and I have my uh, Crystal AB. I am going back. I don't know how you, you want to call it. It's the back to basics. So then now here you go, because a lot of uh, questions will ask how you can, how and when, and how can you able to decide what um, crystal placement you are able to do. So this one, I really want to do this right in the center. And then maybe I'm gonna make a halos on this one. There's so many different ways to doing it, and one of really popular and easiest way you can do is a halo look. So I'm gonna pick probably is um, a good decent size of uh, crystal AB. I'm gonna make it that's really, really um, stunning and simple because I don't wanna take it away from that foil as well as the ombre so they can show absolutely. So for all of you who is just start with crystal placements and you are interested in to um, learning even like a basic crystal placement. So this is one of really cute design and also really simple and also easy to do. I'm trying to get all the uh, shape together. I believe I'm doing size SS8. But if it's sometime I'm getting a bigger size, it's totally fine. You just make sure that the other one is lie up the same. You know, okay, everyone is start getting really um, sparkle over here. Okay, I'm gonna get one of the bigger one here. How everyone doing today? Happy Wednesday. There are so many different ways to doing it. I am doing a one of the most fun, easy, simple, quick design for anyone right now.
I'm gonna read two comments because I really interesting. I wanna watch. Oh, this one. No way if it happened like that, it's pretty good. And be honest, it's so sparkle right now that I can't like really see it. So let me count it, how many on one side. So usually I'm doing like this, I'm laying them in and then I'll make sure they are um, balanced even. And then I see two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, seven. How is that this one have eight and the other one has seven? It's okay. What happened? There you go. So it's great. I love how the technique is. you using condensed glue gel and no white top coat. And then now you can actually adjusting it. There are no, it's not gonna cure until you completely uh, cure it under, well, it's not gonna set until you cure it under LED lights. So if you need to adjusting it and then get more, um, or adjusting it or add more crystal or remove the crystals uh, before you cure it. Um, And I'm gonna do just adjusting it. Now is the best time if you wanna add um, the beads on it. Is that a piece of paper? Superhero, superhero. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna watching. I'm gonna read all the comments in a little bit. I think, okay, I'm gonna keep it flat like this because I keep teal it down so they keep. Um, all right. So go into my beats right here. Cause a lot of you were asking, and then I get them all even now. If you are getting all the designs, like crystal lay like this, the halos and the center, it looks like a, um, a necklace jewelry. But if the, your clients just want is the design with no beads, you are being ready to cure under LED lights. But if the clients want to get the designs and if they want to look like a jewelry, so you can add uh, all the beads in it won't take too long just really nice so where and when should you put the beads you can do it right after you place all the crystals and the best way to place them is between um, each crystal like between two crystals together like what I'm doing it right now or well, you can leave it alone To me, I feel and you can do it inside and outside or you can do it just inside or just outside however you prefer and however your clients want so we'll go back to the crystal placement how you can able to promoting it and how you can able to uh, price it right for your clients so with this one, hang on one second, with this one, um, if you're doing just the crystal placements only, you can't probably the price for this one, it's for instance, it, it depends on the salon location. For instance, if you start from a $10 or $12 or $15, and the clients want to get the uh, jewelry look, which is the beads add-on, that will be at another $5 to $7 for on the top of the crystal placement. 
So the clients get an idea and had a picture that, okay, if I like to get um, that, you know, is to really look, then it will be it's once in 15 plus $7 for the beat or 15 and $15 for the beat. This really depends on the salon location. So the clients will know, that, oh, okay, is, you know, I want to be exactly like this look. So then that way you and your clients are being on the same page and they don't feel like, okay, we're over charged. Or also you don't want to be under charged because it's each techniques and each design you're doing it. For instance, if you're doing your crystal um, by itself, you already probably done by now after you cure it and then you put the precision glue to double secure on it and you should be good to go. But because of the clients want more beats on, so it take you more time and more products for you. So you just want to consult with the clients and make sure they uh, really understand it and your price ring. I think I'm good and I get one more. It looks messy. Well, I mean, I don't say it messy. It looks like because I've been moving around. I am going to using my the other end of dot two to um, really adjusting it. So you can see the difference with or without the beads, right? With the beads, it looks really, to me, it feels complete. It's not like naked anymore. It's funny because I feel like that. Okay. This one, I think. I'm going to take this off. And going to... I'm gonna just pull out for just a second. It's so sparkle under so many lighting right now. Give me one second, everyone. I am getting on this side. Okay. If you want to tune in now, hello, welcome to Good Successor in Such Live tutorial brought to you by our team and is free of charge for every single of you who is the artist lover, um, nail tech, and uh, even the regular clients is more than welcome to watch our tutorial as well. Okay, one more. I just was adjusting it, just to let you know. Hmm. If you're happy with this, here under the LED lights for about 60 seconds. Make sure that you make your halo is even on the both side. And then you're happy with this. Like all the beads is stay in the place you wanted it. And then you can cure it. I don't know what everyone thinking, but I said earlier, did I just say simple, easy, and quick? I think it's too fancy though. Too many blinks. All right, so Brooke, so try not to go over them with. Thank you so much, Miss uh, Sirisa. Hey, Sonia. Bye, Brass. Hello, Brooke. 